folks, JD here. And a little while ago I said that we were sponsored. We absolutely are. And this is the first quadcopter that we've had from Banggood. Okay, let's have a little look. This small quadcopter gives you approximately five to six minutes of flight. It has an optical flow system and a barometer built in. Its remote control distance is 50 meters. Its image transmission range is 30 meters. It has a 300 milliamp hour, seven volt, one S battery, and the camera is one megapixel. The optical flow system underneath you can enable or disable. If you disable it, it'll use the barometer. If you enable it, then you will be using the optical flow system and not the built-in barometer. And here she is. <laughs> very small, very small indeed, but I'm liking this vision system. I'm liking more quads I see on other channels with vision systems. I think they're very, very good. And I think if they're executed well, then they can work really, really well. I'm hoping this is gonna be one that is actually gonna work extremely well. So with this folks, let's get her on the mat, let's calibrate her, let's take her up and have a little look. So here we have it. So the link to this particular quadcopter and all quadcopters can be found in the description as usual. So what we're going to do, put her on a flat level surface, as level as I can make it here. It's pretty level. And then we're going to turn her on, we're going to turn on the transmitter. Single one up and one down to bind. Now with that, I'm going to use Eshin's e, uh, e Fly app, once I've connected to the Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to use that just to record a little bit of FPV, just so we can see exactly what this camera is like. There we go. So it, it is a protected Wi-Fi uh, network this time so all you need to do that is to uh, enter one two three four five six seven eight so there we go right orientation change there we go perfect so let's have a little look Ishin flight would like to access your photos yes please do okay enter the flight modes so then we should have direct yeah there we go perfect so it knows I'm using a transmitter so it's turned off automatically the uh, the analog sticks let's turn this on to video so with this folks, I'm going to use the automatic takeoff button and we're going to take her straight up. Right, before we do, let's calibrate this gyro. So down to the bottom right, and then as you can see, the little lights, LEDs flash, you hear a beep from the transmitter, everything is now calibrated. Let's take her up. Vision system is working really well. Look at, look at, look how well it's holding itself. Look at that. Now what it's doing is taking a photo, it's processing that photo, it's making sure that where it is, is exactly where the photo was taken. If it's not, it's repositioning itself. That's fascinating. So let's take her out a little way. Take her, give her a bit more altitude, just so that that camera's got to work a little bit harder. Look at that. Brilliant. So far, so good. Let's take her out. Right, we do have different speeds. Two beeps, now we're in speed mode two. She's flying, you know, really quite okay so far. Speed mode three. This is flat out, speed mode three. She's very fast when she turns. Not so quick on the acceleration or, um, when you're just pitching her forward. But honestly, does that bother me? No, it doesn't. This is only a small quad quadcopter with small motors. This isn't going to be blazingly quick. Now, as soon as I stop her, though, she is going to hold herself pretty darn well. Again, using that vision system directly underneath. And then, let's take her out. Let's move her back around. <laughs> Can you hear those little motors screaming a little bit? Again, it's not a horrible high-pitched scream, but it is something that I am quite aware of. Okay, let's try some 3D flips. No problem. 3D flips, forwards, back. Do we have four-way? Yes, we do. Left and right as well. So we have four-way flip with this. And this transmit transmitter makes it totally seamless to control. Really does. I get the same feeling from this now as when I was flying the, uh, the parrot swing a little while ago. And it just feels so, so easy to control. It feels balanced. The analog sticks feel very very good indeed okay so back to speed mode one and as you can see there is a definite difference here with the speed mode okay so we have got a low battery warning I just stopped recording video I want to try and maximize this battery as much as I can now the low battery warning on this particular quadcopter comes in the form of a flashing battery on the bottom of the interface of the Eshin fly as you can see there now obviously if you don't use the vision system the battery's going to last you even longer. 
if you do want to use a vision system, which is what I've got, then you will ex ex expect slightly lower battery times because obviously it is taking photos, it is processing those photos side by side. It is really, really good. You can feel the wind coming off this thing directly there where my hand is. It's actually really, really good. I'm really quite impressed with this little thing. I thought it looked quite strange. I like my weird and wonderful quadcopters and it does look quite weird, but above all, it flies very well. It's so easy to control. Okay, it is extremely light. Today we have got no breeze whatsoever and this guy is literally performing excellently. If you do have a breeze, I would recommend you don't take this guy out in it because you're probably going to find that he's going to have slight issues in so much that he's not going to be able to go through the breeze. But here looks absolutely fine. Feels absolutely fine. All in all, yeah, I am really taken with this guy. <laughs> and as soon as you stop him, as you saw, he just holds, bam. Straight in there, no problem, no moving, still on low battery. All in all, yeah, I am quite taken with this guy. He performs really well. That vision system does exactly what it says on the tin. It's going to hold him in place. It absolutely does. <laughs> I've got a little bit of Wi-Fi uh, signal issue in so much that the signal is dropping the further. Uh, well, it's actually not even the further I, I get away from myself because I'd really, you know, that would explain why it would drop. But. There's a little bit of low signal when I've got her quite close to me. Oh, I think she's coming into land. She is. This is the battery. Okay, let's stop this. There we go. Oh, little Eshin windmill. You've really surprised me. Wow, okay. So, vision system. Let me show you what that looks like. If I turn this around, you can see the little camera there. This little camera, that's the vision system. So it looks pretty much the same as the normal camera. You can see the lens here is slightly more rounded. Uh, and this is what takes the photos. Then it's the, the onboard computer then that processes that and takes photos continuously to see whether they are the same. As you can see, it was moving around slightly, but then after a while it tended to just hold itself. It's worked extremely well. I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. I'm going to be using this guy again for a revisit very, very soon. Now. All in all, this guy really does work extremely well. Three speed modes. Speed mode one isn't fast, but it's enough to get through this non-breeze we have here today. Speed mode two, again, a little bit quicker, but don't expect a lot. Speed mode three is the fastest. And as you can see, it did move a little bit quicker, but all in all, it wasn't a fast speed. These are small motors, as you can see here. They aren't capable of fast, fast speeds. But I think for this, it's all about this vision system. And I would tell anyone to give this guy a go because of this particular system and honestly I think it works extremely extremely well now we had a good five and a half minutes of battery life out of this quadcopter uh, and that is exactly what you should be getting from this little thing. Obviously, if you don't record video, if you do lessen the speed, bring it down to speed mode one so the motors aren't working as hard, that battery may last you a little bit longer. But all in all, I was extremely happy with how long this guy lasted me in the air. The transmitter as well works exactly as it should. Now, it is just brilliant. It styles itself off the off the Parrot's transmitters, even down to these little analog sticks inserts. Now you've got automatic takeoff, automatic landing, vision system on and off. You've got your trim buttons, and then you've got a button in the middle here that does nothing. But more than anything, this transmitter app, the Eshin Fly, this is the newly updated Eshin Fly. Uh, now, if you ha already have the Eshin Fly installed, you've got to install this guy instead. Um, now, as soon as you connect her. If it senses that you have a transmitter connected, then as you saw, it turned off the analog sticks automatically. You do have other options. If you are controlling via uh, this particular method, via smartphone, you can use flight plan, you can use 3D flips, you can turn the vision system on and off. So you've got pretty much every control you've got on here, on here plus flight plan. So all in all, that's okay. Now, as for the video itself, I was quite impressed with how that video looked. I think it looked really quite good. Uh, and all in all, I think the... The video, yeah, 
Look at that. So far, it plays no problem. There we are. We've got some flips in there. Perfect. So I'll go back and have a little look at that in the edit. So, uh, yeah, there we are. So all in all, I really enjoyed this. I thought this is a brilliant little little quadcopter and all in all it is something that i am very much going to be taking up again so thank you banggood so there we are folks thanks ever so much for watching listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying